Hi guys, uh, my name is Zach Sadir. I'm a fourth year trumpet veteran here at the Bluecoats, and I'm here today to talk to you guys a little bit about how to hold your horn. Okay, um, first things first, throughout the entire audition experience, it's important to exude a sense of confidence. It's not just through like standing up and playing music or anything like that, it's through everything that you do. Okay, you, it's really important to have that sense of confidence. Um, next thing, I'm going to talk a little bit about how to stand up. There's more videos on, on the, this YouTube channel from the Blue Coats visual staff on how to stand up, so if you want to know, which you should, uh, you should just go check out those videos and it'll explain it in a lot more detail than I'm going into right now. So first thing, we want our weight to be 60% uh, on the front of our feet and 40% on our heels. That's going to give us this constant motion forward, if you will, this constant forward energy. Uh, next thing is we want our hips to be uh, perfectly even, on an even plane, okay? They can't be, they can't be too far forward because that gives us this lackadaisical look. They can't be too far back because that gives us the I'm squatting look, okay? Neither are what we're trying to achieve. We're trying to achieve a big, strong look. Um, next thing, it's important to lift up from your core, okay? If you don't know what lift up means, they'll explain it more in the in the, the staff videos. But um, yeah, separating from the upper and lower body in your abdomen. Uh, next thing is your shoulders, okay? We can't, we can't uh, try and be too big with our shoulders because that gives us this, and this gets really tight and constricted, and you're not gonna be able to sound good if you're doing this, right? We also can't be too far forward because that gives us a really weak and small, small look, okay? Um, make sure that your shoulders are relaxed, and the way that I do, or I try and find where my shoulders are supposed to be positioned, I take my middle fingers, and I put them down the seam of my pants. That creates uh, this big, um, if you will, space in, in your shoulders, okay? Next thing is your chin height. Um, it's going to be important to have the correct chin height. A lot of us tend to be too low because we feel like it's going to make us more bass, badass. Excuse me, if we're uh, just like, yeah, I'm I'm a badass, you know. But no, what I do is I put I uh, get my double L's here. I put my thumbs on my collarbone, and I put my uh, pointer fingers on my chin. And what that does is it gives me a realistic expectation of where my chin should be when I bring the horn into the equation. So now we're going to bring the horn into the equation. Um, one thing that might be different for you guys is here at the Blue Coats, we do full cover carry. Uh, don't worry, it's really, really easy to learn and it feels natural after like a day of doing it. So don't worry about it. Um, anyway, the full weight of the horn in full cover carry is in your right hand. Okay, The way that we achieve this is we put our pinky under the ring. Okay. And we straighten our fingers out and bring them over the valves. Uh, our right thumb will be on the right side of the first valve casing, like this. Okay. When we're at a uh, carry position, our valves will be compressed. Okay. We they can't be up because that that gives us that we don't have enough control over the horn that way. Our valves are going to be compressed. Okay. Uh, the left hand, the left hand is going to. Uh, bring itself right over the right hand. It's not going to be perfectly straight because that makes our elbows too high, right? There's going to be a little bit of crossover there. The right thumb is going to be uh, com right, uh, completely adjacent, excuse me, of the uh, the right thumb. Excuse me, sorry for my my word vomiting right there. Uh, yeah, but it's it's right across from the the right thumb. Uh. Next, we want to make sure that our elbows are on a, a completely even plane, okay? None of, none of this, this is too high, none of this, because then we have a bunch of lines and we don't look big, we don't look like the blue coats here, right? Nice and big, elbows are on this even plane. So now we're going to bring our horn up to playing position, okay? Oh, don't let me forget, the horn needs to be hang 10 away from your body, so thumb and pinky, put your pinky on your middle valve, and put your thumb on your sternum, and that should give you an accurate uh, expectation of where your horn, or the distance from your horn to your chest, okay? 
Also, your mouthpiece should be at your eye level. Not None of this is too high, none of this is too low. Mouthpiece should be at eye level. The way that you check is I uh, tilt my horn a little bit towards myself, and if I can see right across the rim, then I know that my, uh, my horn is at my eye level, or my mouthpiece is at my eye level, rather. Uh, next thing, we're going to bring our horns up. So the whole motion of the horns up is in the right hand, okay? Um, so what we do, our right hand rotates up as our left hand moves down into the, uh, the third valve slide and the first valve slide. It's important that when it's coming down, we still keep this space here. We need to have this space. You should be able to fit like a tennis ball up in there, okay? Uh, yeah, so when your right hand comes up, there's an extra count for your right hand to set itself on top of the valves. Um, your right thumb should be uh, right on the outside of your first valve casing. Your pinky should be in the ring, but not completely jammed in there, right? And then uh, your fingers will just gently go on top of the valves. The left hand, when you come up, your thumb is going to rotate down into the, the first valve slide. And your ring finger, not your middle finger, not your pointer finger, your ring finger is going to go inside of the third valve slide. And then your, uh, your pinky is going to be on top of the third valve slide as well. We can't, we can't have any of this stuff or, you know, any, any of this. We needs to be right here, okay? Right here. Um, next thing is your bell angle. Um, your bell angle should be 10 to 15 degrees above the horizon, okay? So we can't have it too low because, once again, we're not playing to the crowd down there. We're, we're playing up, up, up and out. Right? So 15 degrees. If, if you always think about all of these things I've talked about, then your posture will be immaculate. I promise. Uh, so I hope to see you guys at the audition camps. Uh, good luck to all you guys. And I'll see you then. I hope you learned a lot from this video. Thanks. See ya.